Let us now use this substitution technique to evaluate some integrals. So let's consider this first integral, integral of x squared, e raised to x cubed plus 1 dx. So there is no basic integration formula that will let us evaluate this one. So we may try substitution method here. So if we're going to use substitution method, okay, what must be the u in this case? So again, if you think of the u, it should transform the integral into a form wherein we can again use our basic integration formulas. And if you look at our integrand, it contains an e, an exponential function. It is e raised to a function. So if we're thinking of using the formula for integral of e to the u du, then our u must be the exponent of e. So the obvious substitution here is u equal to x cubed plus 1. So if we make that substitution, if u is equal to x cubed plus 1, we can now write this down as e to the u. So now our problem is how to write this x squared dx in terms of u. So but from this substitution equation, we can obtain the du which is equal to 3x squared dx. And from here, we'll obtain the expression for x squared dx, the remaining factor here, x squared dx, and we can write x squared dx as du over 3. So now, and now we can easily evaluate this integral, so we may move the constant factor outside of the integral, so you have here one third integral of e to the u du, and integral of e to the u du is e to the u, so we have one third e to the u plus the arbitrary constant c, and of course, don't forget to write back the u in terms of x here because we're integrating with respect to x. So we have here one third e to the u, which is x cubed plus one and then plus the arbitrary constant c. Now let's consider this integral, integral of five plus ln of sine x all over tangent x dx. So what are the possible choices for u here? If you choose tangent x as your u, you won't be able to write the remaining factor in terms of u and du. Now, if you choose sine x as your u, then you'll get an integral, which is like integral of something and then ln u. But we don't have like a basic integration formula with an integrand ln u. So it doesn't make sense to let u to be equal to sine x or tangent x. So other choices for u will be ln of sine x. Now, if this is our u, then our du will be equal to 1 over sine x times the derivative of sine x, which is cosine x. So the derivative of this one is actually cotangent x. And 1 over tangent x is cotangent x. So we'll be able to write 1 over uh, tangent x in terms of uh, du because 1 over tangent x dx will be our du. Now, it is okay to include the 5 with this one because when we take, if we let this entire numerator as our u, the derivative of the numerator is actually the derivative of this ln of sine x. So the uh, best choice for u here is 5 plus ln of sine x. And 1 over tangent x dx can be written as cotangent x dx. So if this is our u, so when you compute for du, du is just what? Okay, so derivative of 5 is 0, and the derivative of this one is 1 over sine x times cosine x dx. And of course, cosine x over sine x is just cotangent x dx. So you may think of this integral as integral of u du. And it's very easy to integrate that one because u is a polynomial. So you use the ordinary power rule. So integral of u du will be equal to what? So if this is integral of u du, then its integral is just u squared over 2 plus c. And if we write this in terms of x, we'll get 5 plus ln of sine x quantity squared all over 2 plus c.
Next problem, let's uh, integrate this one, 4 raised to x over 4 raised to x plus 1 dx. So in this case, we may try to the denominator okay, to be our u. So if the denominator is equal to our u, then the du is just equal to 4 raised to x times ln 4, which is just a constant, times dx. So therefore, we can write this numerator 4 raised to x dx as a constant multiple of du. So we can make that substitution. So if u is equal to 4 raised to x plus 1, your du is just 4 raised to x ln 4 dx. So we'll be able to produce the du. Because keep in mind, when you do substitution, you should be able to transform this integral to an integral that what involves only u and du. Okay. So here, we can write this down as 1 over u, and then this one, du, we multiplied here 1 over ln 4 because in the original integral, we don't have ln 4, but we need the ln 4 factor for our du. Okay. So now we can write our integral as integral of 1 over u du. And what is integral of 1 over u du? So this is like integral of 1 over ln 4 integral of 1 over u du. But integral of 1 over u du is just ln of absolute value of u. So this is 1 over ln 4 ln of absolute value of u plus c. Okay, So writing our u in terms of x, we'll get 1 over ln 4 ln of u. So that is 4 raised to x plus 1 plus c. And we can write it down as ln of 4 raised to x plus 1 without the absolute value because 4 raised to x is always positive. Okay, All over ln 4 plus c. Next integral, so we have integral of cosine x over cube root of 1 plus sine x dx. So again here, we cannot let cosine x to be our u because we won't be able to produce the du because there is no uh, factor sine x okay, in the integrand. But here, if you have like a radical or something raised to a power, usually the expression inside is your u. So in this case, we can let this expression inside this radical as our u. So u is equal to 1 plus sine x. And if this is our u, we can actually produce the du because your du is just cosine x dx. So here we'll get... We can write this integrand as 1 plus sine x raised to negative 1 third and then cosine x dx. Now, if we let this to be our u, 1 plus sine x as our u, this remaining factor is just our du. So this cosine x dx is our du. So therefore, this is just integral of u raised to negative 1 third du. So using our power rule, so we add 1 to the power. So negative one third plus one divided by the new power, which is equal to two thirds. So the final answer is three halves times one plus sine x raised to two thirds plus c. Next integral. So here, if we let again this expression inside the radical two plus cotangent x as our u, the du will be negative cosecant squared x dx. But cosecant squared x is actually 1 over sine squared x. So therefore, we'll be able to produce the du if this is our u. So we can write it down as, again, we can write it as rational exponent, this radical raised to 1 half. And then this 1 over sine squared x can be written as cosecant squared x dx. So if this is our u, then the du will be negative cosecant squared x dx. But take note that we don't have a negative sign in the original integral. So to make this to equal, we multiply by negative 1 or put a negative sign here before the integral. So negative 1 times negative 1 is positive. So now we have an integral, negative integral of u raised to 1 half du, so just using the ordinary power rule, we add 1 to the power divided by the new power, which is a 3 over 2. 
So our answer will be negative two-thirds times the quantity. This is uh, 2 plus cotangent x raised to 3 halves plus c. Next problem. So let's evaluate this integral. So here there's only one obvious choice for you and that is 2x minus 3. So if we use that as our u, we'll be able to write this down as if u is equal to 2x minus 3, du is equal to 2dx. So we can write down the dx as d over 2. So this can be written as u raised to 10 and then dx is d over 2. Now our problem is this x here. Since when we use substitution technique, we need to write everything in terms of u du. Now, is it possible to write this x in terms of u? Again, go back to your substitution equation. Here, we can solve x in terms of u. So, it is possible to write this x in terms of u. And we can write it down as x equal to, again, you move the negative 3 to the uh, left hand side you'll get u plus a 3 and divide both sides by 2 you'll get u plus a 3 all over 2 and we use the uh, expression for x here and now we can write this integrand as 1 fourth u raised to 11 and then plus a 3 fourths u raised to 10 it's a polynomial, so it's very easy to integrate. So this is 1 4 times u raised to add 1 to the power divided by the new power plus copy the constant, add 1 to the power divided by the new power plus c. And then putting back u in terms of x, we'll get 1 over 48. This raised to 12 plus 3 over 44, 2x minus 3 quantity raised to 11 plus c. Next integral, so we have this one. So again, here the obvious choice for you is this integral, uh, this radicand, x squared plus 4. And if we let this to be our u, we'll get here du, which is equal to 2x dx. So a factor uh, x dx will produce du. So x dx will be d over 2, so dividing both sides by 2. But we can write this uh, integral as integral of x squared times, you have here the x dx because this is the one that will produce the du, okay, d over 2, and then all over this one, okay. And the problem now is how do we write this x squared in terms of u, but that is possible from this substitution equation. So from this one, we can write x squared as u minus 4. So we can now write everything in terms of u du. So we'll get integral of u minus 4 all over u raised to 1 half times du over 2. And we can write this integral as 1 half u over u raised to 1 half is u raised to 1 half and then minus 4 over 2 is 2, and then u raised to negative 1 half. And then du, and just using ordinary power rule, we'll get 1 half times add 1 to the power divided by the new power minus, again, 2u raised to add 1 to the power divided by the new power plus c. So we'll get here 1 third x squared plus 4 quantity raised to 3 halves minus 4 times the quantity x squared plus 4 raised to 1 half plus c. Now let us evaluate this uh, integral. So 1 over 1 plus x squared tangent inverse x. So what are the possible choices for u here? We cannot let the entire denominator as our u because we cannot produce the du. Okay, so... Uh, possible choices for you is this 1 plus x squared and then tangent inverse x. But if we let this to be our u, we won't be able again to produce the du if our u is equal to 1 plus x squared. But if your u is tangent inverse x, what is the derivative of tangent inverse x? It is actually 1 over 1 plus x squared. So in this case, we'll be able to produce the du because if this is our u, the du is just the 1 over 1 plus u squared times dx. So we'll get here, we can write the integral in this form, 1 over tangent inverse x times this one. 
and if the this denominator is our u then this factor here is just our du right if u is equal to tangent inverse x this will be du so integral of 1 over u du it is just ln of absolute value of u plus c so this is equal to ln of absolute value of tangent inverse x plus c now what if we're given this uh, integral so integral of secant squared x over square root of 1 minus tangent squared x dx if we let this radicand as our u our du will be negative to tangent x secant squared x dx. So we won't be able to produce the du because we don't have a factor tangent x here. So, but if you go back to the basic integration formulas, we have a formula integral of 1 over square root of 1 minus u squared du, and it is equal to sine inverse u. So therefore, a possible choice for u here is tangent x. And if we let that as our u, u is equal to tangent x, then du is just secant squared x dx. So we can write this one as integral of du over square root of 1 minus u squared. Using our basic integration formula, it is equal to sine inverse u or arc sine u plus c. So this is equal to sine inverse of tangent x plus c. Moving to our last problem, so let's evaluate integral of secant raised to 6 of x dx. So also, sometimes we need to use trigonometric identities before doing some substitution in order to evaluate an integral. So here we may write this down as product of secant raised to 4 of x and then secant squared of x dx and the idea here is that if you have a secant squared x dx and if you can write the other factor as a polynomial in tangent x and this is actually the technique also discussed in trigonometric substitution then you'll be able to successfully evaluate the integral but can we write this as a polynomial in tangent x Yes, because we can write this as the square of secant squared x, and secant squared x is just 1 plus tangent squared x using our identity, trigonometric identity. So uh, if we let u to be equal to tangent x, so our du is secant squared x dx. So by this substitution, we'll get 1 plus u squared quantity squared du. And this is equal to, we expand it first before evaluating the integral. So 1 plus 2u squared plus u raised to 4 du. And just using ordinary power rule, so you have here u plus 2 thirds u raised to 3 plus 1 over 5u raised to 5 plus c. And putting back u in terms of x, we'll get tangent x plus 2 thirds tangent cube x plus 1 over 5 tangent raised to 5x plus c. 